one of the issues that I experience as a beekeeper here in Florida is that we have these very prolonged summer dearths. Usually by the time May major nectar flow is over, we have June, July, and August where there's very uh, few resources available to bees at all. And that's not just a nectar dearth, that's also a pollen dearth. So I often get asked, how can I make my colonies grow or at least sustain them during those months? Well, I will tell you, bee colonies grow when they have the resources to grow. And they need two types of resources. They have to have incoming pollen, and they also have to have plenty of nectar. Of course, that pollen they're able to use uh, in food for bees, they convert it, uh, they put it in, in the food that they feed to the worker uh, and drone and queen larvae. They also, uh, the adult bees will consume that pollen to mature their food producing glands that they can use, of course, to produce that food that they feed to the young. So they have to have pollen. Where I live, bees are foraging on grass pollen for much of the summer and grass pollen is an incredibly low quality pollen. So if I really want to get my colonies to grow during that time, I have to move them to an area that has diverse pollen resources, or I have to consider providing some sort of pollen supplement, uh, be it pollen, frames of pollen that I've frozen in the past when times are good that I give back to the bees, or pollen patties that I might use. Another key to sustaining colonies during the summer dearth or growing colonies is you've got to consider feeding them uh, carbohydrate source. So of course that sugar syrup or corn syrup for most beekeepers, but they really have to have some sort of income, incoming carbohydrate resource as well as some sort of protein resource even to maintain their population. And if you wanna grow, you're really going to have to pour it on. All the successful commercial beekeepers I know who are growing colonies during those summer months are feeding bees carbohydrates, again, sugar syrup or corn syrup, and considering the addition of pollen supplements. And I think that that's uh, important things to consider if you plan to grow your colonies during summer dearths.